Hi, this is Jbo on YouTube, and what I'm going to do is a very quick review of the Behrman Derringer, which is the big bore. And what's peculiar about this is a lot of reviews of this online, which is fine. Uh, but this, for some reason, is a newer model. I'll go through what I believe is different. I'm not an expert on guns. I don't pretend to be. And I just like this gun. It is the Derringer Big Bore in 38 Special. And it has the safety and the hammer and all that other stuff and the trigger. The infamous trigger pull that everybody hates on these guns. And they end up wanting to throw it in the garbage. This was uh, a little over $100, and it's a good buy. And you'll probably notice one of the different things right away is this is the older one. It belongs to my brother. And you can see that it has a round trigger guard, oval shaped. And the newer one has a rectangular one, or square. And also the trigger, you can't tell in the video. But it feels like there's a little bit of a lip down here that you can get leverage on. And you'll notice something also right away. As you don't hear that nasty creakiness with the trigger. They have really smoothed up their trigger. Now this one, you'll probably hear it on the video. It creaks inside the gun and it's not even cocked. So... Uh, Always check it to make sure it's unloaded. It's clear. So when you crank this, listen to this. I mean, you can really hear that. And then when you want to pull the trigger, it really is quite the chore. This newer one, which I got today, is not like that. You cock it, and it's quiet. See that? They have done something different to improve it. And when you pull the trigger, it's about a third easier than this one. So, very noticeable. I have a hard time pulling it with just one with my thumb, but with this one, it's pretty easy. And I have the safety on, I'll dry fire it. But that is not very difficult. And this one, it's like you really have to squeeze pulling downward. It's much different. They're both 38s. And also I noticed they put Loctite in that hinge that always loosens up. And this one did not have that. And you always have to tighten it. So little things like that I noticed, but, you know, the main thing is the trigger mechanism is smoother. So I don't know if they do a trigger job now at the factory and slick up the parts, or if that is a fluke, and I don't think it's a fluke. The trigger feels nice, everything feels nice. I've yet to shoot it, of course, so... It might end up just misfiring all over the place like some other ones do. Or it might not, but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. Because uh, so far, it just seems to be uh, better. It just seems to be better. That's the only way I can describe that. And uh, you have the top firing pin and the bottom firing pin in there. Which, uh, when the safety is off, and you cock it, I'm not going to fire it. But what I will do is push, and you can see it move. And actually, you'd see it if the safety was off. But, so, they seem to have done a much, much better job doing this and 
you still get the typical things in the box, the lock, and this little paper explaining to you that you have to pull downward at that point of access on that pivot pin. So at least they explain that. Then we have the a website to download a copy of your manual. They don't have one in here. And that's my receipts. So nothing comes in the box basically, as you well know. But uh, the point being, they made improvements to the trigger and I'm very excited now to go give this a try out uh, this weekend coming up and my brother is going to have his and we'll see what happens but so far it looks like it's going to be a major improvement and people should be happy with that so I guess what I would tell you um, don't go exactly by what I say obviously but if you see the square or rectangular trigger guard online Maybe if you catch a glimpse of that blue Loctite, that it will be one with the new trigger. Uh, actually, it's the same trigger and the same hammer. They look the same, but I can tell you honestly, it is a very, very noticeable, dramatic difference in the trigger pull. So I think people are going to be much more happy with this. It's not like a normal gun, but... It's just easier to put the safety on and you like going to shoot something, you can pull the trigger without breaking your fingers. And I have fired this several times and my finger is not falling off. And uh, what I've been doing is putting a pencil in here or my finger. I'm pulling the trigger like that so I don't damage the firing pin or anything else except my finger <laughs> but um, it's just a much easier trigger pull and like stated I mean just listen to that it sounds like there's rocks in there or something and that's really really hard to pull <sighs> And I can tell the hammer is hitting my thumb harder too. So I'm wondering if it's going to strike the firing pin lighter with this newer version and the older one, which sometimes we've seen people with the firing pin go right through the primer and pop the primer right out. We've seen some of those too. So I don't know. We'll give it a try and I will add another video and let you know. We're coming up on about a little over eight minutes, so that's the end of this video, I think. But um, if you're wondering what this slot is here, is we took a file and we filed the rear slot to try to lower the sight, which it did about eight inches, because these do shoot high. And it's a little trick I do on my black powder guns, on the ones that have the rear sight built into the hammer. So you just file in there, and you can do your windage side to side filing as well. But uh, it seemed to work on this, because if you look at it closely, which might be hard to see here, but um, that slot that's put in at the factory is actually hindered by this piece of the receiver. So when you're looking through, you're actually looking over the piece of the receiver, and you're not even seeing the slot. It sits above it, if you know what I mean. So we just cut into it to put it level. And I think that's about the best that's going to get. And if you don't want to cut your gun, then don't cut your gun, I guess. But it's kind of a soft alloy, and it cut rather easily with a file. So I'll shoot this one first before I do anything to this, obviously. Because it might be in the neighborhood. Oh yes, another important difference. If you look, and I'm not going to be able to get a good picture of it on here, I'm pretty sure. But if you look at the ends of the barrel, this has more chamfering on the top than the bottom. 
and it has way more chamfering than either one of these and that's that bevel on the end so they cleaned up the end that's the other change I noticed so I think that might affect accuracy there's a good shot of it you see that bevel in there so that's just something I noticed they did that's different and there's plenty of pictures online where you don't see any chamfering and that might be why they shoot high so I'm kind of anxious to see how this is going to do because the bottom one is chamfered but not as much as the top and this bottom one seems the one that's to be the one that's the most accurate centered on the target and the top one's the one that shoots high so I'll check it out and I'll come back and let you know what I find so that's it the Behrman Cobra remade Derringer in 38 Special. I don't know, you might want to try it out. It's got a much better trigger. You'll be happy with it, I can tell you ahead of time.